Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Sorry about the little jiggle jiggle. Oh my gosh, I was like trying to get my cards changed out on my board back here. Oh, they don't look that great, do they? Well, I'll fix that later. <laughs> that one is a little crooked. We gotta change that. Hi Connie, you're the first one coming in here. I am going to get a set up on my iPad. I don't know what I just did because I don't know what I'm doing with my iPad, but <laughs> I hope you guys are having a fantastic Sunday. Lisa, I see you were at the Packer game. Go Pack! I hope you guys had a blast. It looked really fun. And I always set this up ahead of time and then my iPad goes to sleep and then I have to do it all over again. So that's always fun. I think I've, you know, got all my ducks in a row, but nope. Nope, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we have it going here. All right, and I can see all your comments. That's awesome. When I flip that camera around, we'll be ready to roll. So, gosh, I don't know what happened this week. <laughs> what I do know is that I didn't get out in the sun at all. So it must have been rainy and cloudy. And today it was overcast, there was no sun. And so I thought, I'm going to go take a nap. I went over to visit my babies. And um, I watched Val cooking with her dad, which was hysterical. Because they were making taco hot dish. And we have a fantastic recipe for taco hot dish. And it's something that Haley loves. And Haley's a really picky eater. So um, Val was... She got to spoon the cottage cheese into a bowl. And when she was done with that, she got to spoon the sour cream into the same bowl and then mix it up. She crushed the chips for the bottom of it. Um, she sprinkled the cheese on and ate lots of the cheese. <laughs> it was so cute. And she did all this naked. <laughs> so we had the naked chef today. And it was just the, pre it was the most precious thing. They are potty training. Remember, we did potty training earlier this year in, in March, and it just didn't work. Kathy Larson, I saw your grandkids today at the Hillbilly Sweet Corn stand. So I had, I think, is that Kathy? Are those your grandkids? It's somebody's grandkids from Marshfield. Anyways, um, so, uh, yeah, where was I? Uh, oh, potty training. So... Haley's been doing like all this research trying to figure out, oh, she's got to get this child potty trained. Two kids in diapers is terrible. And um, Haley is saying hi. Hi, Haley. I didn't see your comment come in, but I see Deb's. <laughs> um, anyways, so she was reading that some people found that it worked better if they were naked. And that helped them remember because it wasn't just so convenient to wet their pants, right? Because they don't have any pants on. So... <laughs> This child's running around the house naked all the time. And and then when I got there, Haley goes, did you want to show Granny how you can go potty on the big potty? And she's like, so she ran in the bathroom. Come on, Ganny, she says. She ran in the bathroom and they had this little, it's not like, you know, when our kids were little, we had these little seats that you put on or they had their own little potty chair. Well, Haley has this thing that's like a little ladder. And it's got, it's got like a ladder and it's got one little step on it. And then it's got a little toilet seat for the little butt and little handles on the side. So she takes it out of the closet. She puts it up on the toilet, steps up on the step, turns around and goes potty. And oh, we celebrated and celebrated. It was the cutest thing. And then she get she got down and she put it back in the closet and ran back in the kitchen where we continued to make supper. <laughs> so cute. Anyways, um... Friday night, we went to the Menasha High School football game. It was their first game of the season. They won. So, yay! They have a really good football team here in Menasha. And um, Haley and Jared came, and um, we went, or we got Molly, and Molly came with us. So, that was fun for her because she's going into middle school. She's going to be a sixth grader this year. Oh, I know, right? I'm a little afraid for her, but <laughs> I hope we can. I hope she will talk to me about anything. Middle school, you know, is such a rough time for kids, right? <laughs> so um, anyways, we had Molly and then Haley and Jared came with the babies and we all sat and watched football and some of um, Haley's high school friends were there with their kids. So that was kind of cute. 
Anyways, it was a beautiful night, 75 degrees, so perfect to go to a football game. And Val, Valerie is a very big sports fan. She loves hockey. They take her to real hockey games in Green Bay. But she loves to watch hockey on TV. And every time they got a touchdown, she was like, <laughs> and she would clap, and it was so fun. She did not like the mascot at all. Molly grabbed her and they stood by this giant blue jay and Val was like if you guys saw my um story from over the weekend it was hysterical she was having none of that bird <laughs> anyhow what else John report um this week I actually Steve borrowed a edger to edge your sidewalk you know you kind of cut the grass out from the edge of your sidewalk and um, so he did that to our house while I was gone somewhere. So where did I, oh I went on the trip with Molly? Oh, I went on our trip with Molly. We'll get to that in a minute. Gosh, that seems like a year ago, right? Anyways, my John report is that Steve did the edging on our sidewalks, and so I think that prompted John to maybe think that he needed to do his edging. So one day I looked out the window. No, maybe I went outside. John was sitting on his butt on the sidewalk doing things with the edge. So I'm assuming he was edging his too. <laughs> and I kind of looked at him, I'm like, what is he doing out there? A grown man sitting on the sidewalk. And then I realized he was probably doing the edging. So it was pretty funny, but <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what he's doing. Oh yeah, I do. Anyways, that's my John report. I haven't seen him other than that. I um, went on my girls trip with Anna and Molly. Remember last Sunday I was, last Sunday I was live, right? Yeah, and then the next day we were going on our girls trip and we had so much fun. We went to the beach all day and um, we visited a couple little waterfalls. We went on the Painted Rock tour. It's a boat cruise. That was beautiful. We ate from this little, um, one of those little, uh, what do they call those, little roadside stand pizza. It was so good. <laughs> Connie likes my John story. I know, right? Um, and Connie, I know we were close to Marquette, and I had someone else ask me about um, if we were coming to Marquette because they would like to meet me. And no, we were on a girl's trip. This was Molly's trip. This wasn't Kelly's trip to um, visit people. This was totally about Molly. So we went shopping and we ate and we stayed in a hotel and we went to a really good supper club. It was called Stone something in Escanaba. Stone, the stone house. But oh, it was so good. I had, I think it was honey glazed grilled shrimp steak and a baked potato, oh, so delicious. I almost ordered an old fashioned, but I was driving, so I didn't. <laughs> I can control myself on the old fashions. But anyway, so that was really fun. We left Monday morning early, and then we came home Wednesday morning. So that was fun. Then I had Val on Wednesday afternoon, and the rest of the week, you know, it's history. The Stone House, Connie said, yes, the Stone House. Oh, it was so good. Steve told me that they eat there every year. In the fall, in September, he goes on a golf outing with a bunch of guys up to the UP, which is Upper Michigan. And um, he goes, I was telling him about this place we ate in Escanaba, and he goes, is it like something about a stone? I'm like, yeah. He's like, they go there every year when they're up there for their golf outing. And he said, it's just delightful. So that was fun. Um, and that about sums up my weekend. Other than working, I have been, ha I have had my nose to the grindstone because I'm leaving on Tuesday. We are headed to New Orleans for a Stampin' Up! Leadership Conference. It's called Backstage, and I'm super excited because, of course, I'm going to hang with Dina and Barb. I have a couple team members going, so that's exciting. And um, we haven't met together as a group like this in three years. So it's going to be really nice to see my Stampin' Up! friends that I haven't seen in a long time. You know, we used to, I used to actually see my Stampin' Up! friends more often than I saw my friend friends that, you know, that I live with or live around or whatever, because we had so many Stampin' Up! events that we were traveling to. So, um, 
That'll be fun. New Orleans, it's supposed to be in the mid to high 80s with 90% humidity and it's supposed to rain every day. Oh, I gotta remember. Hang on. I have to remember to bring my umbrella. That was the thing that I meant to write down and then when I went, oh, I gotta write that down, then I got to my phone and I forgot. So let me give myself a note. <laughs> I'm so terrible, you guys. Oh my gosh. So terrible. And then while I'm gone, um, Haley, that reminds me if you're still on here. While I'm gone, um, my mom is coming to visit. She has a painting class over here in our area. And I'm really sad that I'm not going to be here because I'm going to be in New Orleans where, you know, sweating my patootie off. But, um, oh, I want to see Granny. Hi, Valerie. Granny loves you. Anyways, I was just talking about Gigi. That's what we call um, my mom, Gigi. Gigi's coming to visit while I'm gone. So Haley invited her to stay at her and Jared's new house. And so she said, oh, she's so excited to do that. And she is coming. So Haley, today when I went to the store to get the strawberries and to make the strawberry jam, I got some little bottles of wine. So I will give those to you tomorrow because my mom likes wine. And so you can have those at your house. And then um, I also was thinking about you going out to eat and I will facilitate that so that you can pay for Gigi to go out to eat. Yay, <laughs> I love that. I won't let my mom pay for a thing. I usually don't let Haley pay for anything either um, because that's the way my dad was when I was growing up. Like we never, adult, it didn't matter. You didn't pay, he paid. And um, he was just a very, very generous man. So I love that I can, hang on, I'm going to move you guys up. I love that I can do that. <laughs> and Haley loves drunk grandma. <laughs> Not me, Gigi. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, it'll be fun, right? Okay, so um, I am going to get to, did you guys have, does anybody have any questions? <laughs> I always just go, blah, 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 blah. but how about some questions? If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I will be live next Sunday night, I'm pretty sure, unless I have travel um, issues. If my planes are canceled or postponed or whatever, sometimes that happens. But I can't remember what time I'm supposed to be home. I think around 4.30, so, and I do have projects ready to roll, so I can be live next Sunday night. Now, if I have problems, whoops, let me move this up, if I have problems, and I can't get home on time, I should be able to post in here from my phone on my Facebook page to let you guys know that, you know, things went south. <laughs> and um, I will be live then Monday or Tuesday sometime during the week because I do have stuff ready to roll. So that's what I, when I was talking about having my nose to the grindstone, boom, 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 boom. Oh my gosh. I have, for those of you that have ordered the, um, Season of Chic kit class from me. Oh, Dina Barb and I have the projects done. We have recorded our videos. We are going to be working on the PDF file and getting that all finalized this week. All of my classes when I first announced them are a pre-order. And um, I have all my card stock. I have my videos are done, they're edited, they're uploaded, my project sheets are done, they are edited and uploaded. So I am ready to rock with this class. That's what I've been doing the last few days so that I could relax when I go to New Orleans. My cardstock piles are sitting right over there, ready to go in my big chopper. Um, and I have all my product here to make your kits up. So as soon as I get back, well, probably tonight or tomorrow, I'm gonna be cutting cardstock and assembling kits. But as soon as I get back, your kits will be going out in the mail. They are scheduled to go out the week of the 28th. So it's right on time. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I have a blog hop next Friday. So even though I'm going to be in New Orleans, I have that all done, ready to rock. Everything is uploaded. I know, Cynthia. I'm like, boom, 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 boom. I have kept my, you know, like you can get so distracted. You guys know that I run down a rabbit hole frequently. You can get so distracted and suck away so much time on, you know, Pinterest and Facebook and all the places. And um, I've been like, nope, I have things to do. I want to relax. I want to enjoy. I want to learn. This is a leadership conference. Stampin' Up! does a fantastic job of teaching us. And I need to be totally focused on this conference. And of course, 
there may be some Netflix marathons in a hotel room with my besties. And somebody said, are you taking swaps? Judy, are you taking swaps? Nope. One of my team members, Jody, that's coming to New Orleans, she said, yeah, I didn't, she, she said she, I didn't have time to make swaps. And I said, I didn't even try. That's just too much on my plate. But usually I do take swaps to events. That's one of the really fun things about it. But I'm thinking Dina's going to have swaps, so we'll be able to look at hers. <laughs> right? <laughs> I know. Um, Dina has like a full-time helper. So, <laughs> yeah, I have help, but nobody full-time. And I just didn't want to stress over it. Um, yeah. So, and somebody asked how Chef Steve was doing. Chef Steve has started cooking again. We had Philly cheesesteak the other day, and it was delightful. Um, he made me, for supper last night, he made mahi-mahi. Um, I know, fancy, right? We had a lot of that when we were in Florida. Um, so we had grilled mahi-mahi. He made steaks. I like tenderloin. And asparagus grilled. And can I just say, it was delicious. So there was asparagus and steak left over, and that's what I just had for supper. Yay! Ah, oh, yeah. So what did you guys have for supper? That's what I want to know. I had asparagus and steak, and um, it was almost as good the second time around. So, okay. So that's what my week is looking like, you guys. It's going to be crazy. I have some fantastic cards to share with you tonight. Do dis discount shoppers attend um, on stage? That's a great question. I think Sandy just asked that question. Was it Sandy? Laura. Laura, anybody can attend on stage. So Stampin' Up! has an on stage um, event coming up in November. And there are on stage locations all over the country. So um, Barb, Dina, and I, and most uh, of my team members from around here are going to Indianapolis. I do have team members all over the country, and they're going to wherever their location is. I have Priscilla out in California, and she is going to someplace in California. <laughs> Priscilla, I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, so there are locations all over. Everybody can go to on stage. The backstage leadership conference that I'm going to is for certain titles, and I think it's Silver Elite and above get to attend this event. But on stage is all over, and it is open to anyone, whether you're a discount shopper, or you're building a business, or you're doing something in between. Everybody gets to go there. Oh, Andy had spaghetti and meatballs. One of the favorite things about going on trips for me is the eating. Not gonna lie. I love to eat me some good food. And I've never been to Louisiana, so I'm excited about that. Oh, Laura made homemade lasagna, Laura. I'm coming to your house for the leftovers. Lisa had taco salad. I love taco salad. I was so mad. You guys are probably going to hate me. Don't boo me. Just don't hate me. But I really liked Taco Bell's taco salads. <laughs> I know. I know. It's like so bad. Um... But I really liked them, and then they quit making them, and now Taco Bell has nothing for me. Nothing. <laughs> I like taco salads at Mexican restaurants and other places, too, but that was the one thing that I could go and get at Taco Bell that made me feel like I wasn't eating 8,000 calories. I probably was, but... <laughs> and, uh, oh, Bonnie is going to um, Indianapolis, too. Yeah, who else is a discount shopper or a demonstrator that's going to Indianapolis. I want to hear from you guys. So Courtney says, get you some crawfish. When I lived in Missouri, we used to catch craw crawdads. We called them crawdads. And um, those were a fun thing. We spent hours and hours in the local drainage ditch. Who knows what else was going on in that ditch. But that's where we played as a child when I lived in Missouri. And it was so funny. Oh, thank you guys for the share. Um, okay, I'm going to get started with our prizes. Now, you guys know, I, hi, Amy Deschler. I'm happy to see you out here. You guys know that I give away at least Judy misses the taco salad at Taco Bell, too. Okay, so Taco John's has a great taco salad. Wendy, that's really good to know, but I have Taco Bell right over here. 
And Taco John's is way over in Appleton. And I really do, I like potato Olay's from Taco John's, not gonna lie. They are like probably toxic with salt. <gasps> so delicious, <laughs> right? Who's hungry talking about food? But um, yeah, I was really sad because Taco Bell is right here. We have, we have Taco Bell, McDonald's, Walgreens on a corner right there. So everything's just really quick and easy. Um, mud bugs. <laughs> okay, so I give away three prizes at least every single week, and they all revolve around you guys. And I love to be able to share with you. Now, hang on, I'm going to tip you up a little bit. You're going to wiggle just a tiny bit. When you use this host code, and I know it's backwards right now, but when I turn my camera around, it will be right side up. When you use this host code, when you place an order in my online store, you um, help me to be able to purchase these um, prizes, and that's what I do with this. I use them to get prizes. Um, I just had a promotion with um, an order over $75 earlier in August. I'm giving away grab bags, and that's the way that I get all of this stuff. So I appreciate you using my host code, but only do it if your order is under $150. If your order is over $150, don't use my code. Shop in my store, definitely, but don't use the code because you're gonna get some rewards from Stampin' Up! and I definitely want you guys to have them. But if your order is under $150, you don't get any rewards. And if you use this code, all those re all your, your purchase goes into a bank under this code where then I can get stuff to be able to give away. So that's how it works. Okay, so, First of all, the first way that you can win a fabulous prize, and somebody wanted to know what was in Indy. Um, it's a leadership conference for Stampin' Up! Demonstrators. So, yay, I'm going Tuesday. Okay, Anaheim, Laura says, yes, that is where the leadership conference is in California, is in Anaheim. They also had one in Jacksonville, Florida. We kind of talked about going there, but... Um, I knew that the majority of my team, like I'm gonna have the most team members in Indianapolis. And um, and so is Dina. Barb is out in Wyoming, so um, she'll have some team members there, but you know, it's not like a place close to her. So I don't, I don't know how many team members she'll have there, but anyways, Indy's where we're going. And that's fine. They keep us so busy when we're at these events with activities and training and demonstrations and all kinds of fun stuff that there's really not a time, not enough time to worry about what location you're at. So just know that unless you stay a couple extra days. Anyhow, so to the prizes. For leaving a comment on my last Facebook Live, I have Sarah New from Sock Rapids, Minnesota. I have some Stampin' Spritzers on their way to you. Yay! And I've got them all packaged up, pretty packaging, ready to roll. Next up, uh, make sure you click on that like button. Oh, Kathy's going to be in Jacksonville. See, I want to go to Jacksonville. Hi, Joe. Um, make sure you click on that like button. It's on your screen someplace. That really helps me in my online analytics. I don't know how. I don't understand it all. We don't, we don't need to know the why. We just need to know the yeah. <laughs> right? That's kind of how I operate. It's like, I don't need to know. <laughs> am I buffering? No, I am not buffering. I am actually watching myself on my iPad and I'm good. So if I'm buffering on your end, it's your internet connection, which is usually the case. I um, I pay for some pretty ramped up internet connection here to be able to always stream on YouTube and Facebook and all the places. Now, next up, oh, this is, oh, is this the share? Nope. This is... This is the share. Oh, I almost messed up, you guys. <laughs> okay. For sharing my video last time. Somebody just said they are recovering from COVID. Missed a few videos. Julie, I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope you're feeling better. COVID is a, can be a beast. I know, firsthand. Um, for sharing my video last time. You guys, click on that share button. I'm, I'm giving you a thumbs up. I don't know why. 
I'm confused. <laughs> but please click on that share button, whether you're watching now live, whether you're watching the replay on Facebook when I'm not live, there's a share button. And if you're watching on YouTube later when I get it uploaded, there is a share button on there too. Please share this video. It's one of the best things that you can do for me. That really helps me to be able to reach new people and grow my business, which I'm always doing. Now, back to our prizes. I have a really good prize. Well, they're all really good, right? Um, for sharing last time, Lynn Dare of Williamstown, New Jersey. Lynn, I have a blending brush coming your way. Now these are great, but you know, that's not that big of a prize, right? <gasps> Don't worry, because I have artistic mix decorative masks coming your way to go with your blending brush. Yay! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to send this to you. I love these. I love these because you can do, oh, I've got a card. Remind me, oh, let me show it to you. Hang on. I've got a card that uses those, these decorative masks with the blending brush. Look at this. I made that background and you can do it as soft. You can, you can like make it a little bit and then let it taper off to nothing. Oh, I love being able to do that. You can make your own designer paper with um, the blending brush and the decorative mask. So, Lindare, Williamstown, New Jersey, another pretty one on its way to you. And then the third way that you can win fabulous prizes is by placing an order with me. So anybody who placed an order with me between last week's Facebook Live and tonight, I have Sunny Splash. Oh my gosh, I, I've made some really cute cards with this and I've had so much fun with it. And I thought, oh my gosh, I need to give this away because I, I, I ordered it to be able to give away. And um, I need to do it before summer's over, right? But those of you that are down south, you do swimsuits year round, which I am a little jealous about, I'm not gonna lie. And I saw Jackie said it is hot, hot, hot in Florida. You know, Jackie, I love it. <laughs> Okay, so replacing an order with me between last week and tonight is Judy X is our big winner of the Sunny Splash stamp set. She is from Tom's River, New Jersey. Yay! Congratulations to all our winners. Ooh, I have to remember too, I have to take my unicorn. We travel with the unis. And I'm not sure if I'll be bringing this guy or not, but I'm thinking that I should. This guy poops out unicorn balls. You guys, have, I can't do it. I'm not real good at this. Hang on, let me see if I have some more balls. I got some more balls. So we have to bring all the unicorns on our trips. We're a little funny that way. It's just a silly thing that we do. I don't know why. Let me see if I can get this sort. Ready? Yeah! So I have this unicorn. I have this pooping unicorn. And this one actually poops out candy. So there you have it. <laughs> I know. I know. We're just a hoot, right? So usually when Dina Barb and I get together, we like do a marathon of some comedy on Netflix. And we lay around our hotel and we work. We're all sitting in our beds on our laptops, working away. But we're watching stuff and we're laughing our butts off. So I am hoping that we can find something good to watch. All right, you guys, are, are we good? Hi, Marsha. Happy to see you here. Um, let me get a drink. All right, I think we're good. I just want to remind you, celebration is happening. I just got my newest team member, team member today, just joined my team. And um, Bev, we are happy to have you. And um, when you join during celebration, you get this amazing planner. It's shown on page 18 and 19 of our celebration brochure. You get that planner absolutely free and it comes with the stamp set, you guys. So you get the planner, it's beautiful. You get all the pages, there's stickers. It's absolutely gorgeous. But when you join my team for $99 before the end of August, you will get that planner for free. You get to choose $125 in product, anything you want, except not celebration. Celebration items don't have a price. So it has to be something that you can buy in any of our catalogs. You get to pick $125.
then you get a discount on all your future orders. And if you are not a discount shopper, you need to be. If you're a stamper, you should be getting a discount. If you're a stamper, you should be on my team. You should be involved in all the fun that we have, you guys. You can't even know how much you're missing when you're not on a team that's having a lot of fun. So, um, celebration ends on the 31st of August, which is uh, two Wednesdays away from today. And we also have more to celebrate. So every $50 you spend, you get to choose something from here. There are some items with every $100 you get to choose them. They're absolutely free. And then this is more to celebrate. There's some $100 items and some $50 items on here. Um, I know that the brushed metallic cardstock, that is getting on low inventory right now, but we still have that silver. Oh, these are fabulous to have for free, you guys. So embossing folders, all kinds of fun stuff. Um, if you're part of Stamp Happy Academy, I just did a fantastic technique using the Timber 3D and the uh, blah, 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 Seashells embossing folders, both of these gorgeous, gorgeous cards. So if you're not a member of Stamp Happy Academy, when we're done here tonight, you go look that up, stamphappyacademy.ning.com. You'll find it. If you're a stamper, it's the best gift you can give yourself is a membership to the Stamp Happy Academy. We have a ton of fun on there. All right. It's a lot, right? It is. It's a lot. Okay. Hang on. Somebody said stupid autocorrect. I meant I love you, Tiara. Isn't it cute? I know. I do. I stamp better when I'm wearing a tiara. Like, who wouldn't stamp better with all this bling, right? <laughs> okay. I think I want to figure out here what am I going to show you first. I'm going to show you the Scotty Dog. And then I'm going to... Do, do, do. I'm going to make the Season of Chic card. How many of you have the Season of Chic Suite. Inquiring minds want to know. Who has this? Oh, this was one of the things. This is from our annual catalog. And when the annual catalog was new in May or whatever it was, this was one of them like, yep, that's first on my list. Oh, I love, love, love this. And I love it not only for that fantastic stamp set, but all the dyes that go with it. Good grief, there are 19 different dyes in this bundle. It's crazy. Mary Lynn Cox has it, you bet Mary Lynn. Linda does, you guys have really good taste. <laughs> okay, Judy calls it auto incorrect. Betty's ordering it on her next order. Judy loves this suite, yeah. Beverly, get your wallet out, because after tonight, you must have it too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, not really. <laughs> All right. You'll thank me. I'm sure. Okay. Kathy is thinking about it. Kathy, you're going to love it. Patty has it. Yay. We got a lot of people with the season of chic. Uh, Judy has the paper, but not the bundle yet. You will shortly, Judy. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, I'm so cocky tonight, aren't I? Mm -hmm. Maria, you're going to love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am ready to turn this over. So just hang tight. Let me get us turned over. I have a little bit of adjusting to do, you guys. If we happen to get disconnected, please know that I will just pop right back onto my Facebook group. You will have to refresh your screen. And this is my current host code, right side up, right? <laughs> And this is my blog. Now, if you would like to place an order with me, um, if you go to my blog, www.astampabove.com, on there all over the place is online ordering buttons. Um, there's one in the right-hand column. Let me see if I can get my computer over here. Look, I wrote, there's my note, umbrella. <laughs> I know. Okay, hang on. Where'd my mouse go? My magic pad quit working, and that's been fun. Not, not at all. So I was going to show you, this is, this is my blog. Okay. This is what it looks like. And then over here is the side column. Here is my ordering button right there. You click on that. It goes right to my online store. But the other thing that I wanted to show you is when I'm talking about things like 
You can find the online catalogs right here. You click on those. When I'm talking about my online technique club, bam, it's right here. You just click on that and it'll take you to all the details. All of my online classes are right here. And if you want to join my team, this is the $99 kit button. You click on that, it'll take you right over there and give you all the details and there's a join button on there. But also, at the bottom, oh, and by the way, you guys, I have downloads for almost all my cards now that are on my blog. When you click on this, let me click it for you, it'll open up a new window and here is a PDF that you can print out or you can save it to your device. So when you see this, you make it, that's what that's for. Now, when you go all the way down to the bottom, here's where all the things are. Here's the current host code again. So you'll find it at the bottom of every blog post. It tells you, you click on your shopping bag, you put the host code in here, and then you click apply, one, two, three. Here's my online store again, okay? This part right here will take you to all the information about ordering the starter kit from me. That is a discount shopper kit. If you wanna be a discount shopper or if you want to build a little business, you can do that. It, it's completely up to you and the level of energy that you wanna put into it. But I also have sticky kits, which is a big adhesive kit. When you click on that, it'll take you to the details, all kinds of good stuff down here. So just know that this is where you can find all the things I'm talking about. And again, I am on my blog at www.astampabove.com. Okay, so whew, that was easy. Let me get that plugged back in. I just bought a new laptop because this one, the mouse pad quit working and I hate, I absolutely hate using a mouse. I just hate it. Most people don't like to use those pads, but I'm really good at them. Okay. First thing I'm going to talk to you, oh, let me put my umbrella note back over here. First thing I'm going to talk to you about is my um, Christmas Scotties class. So just a, just a minute here. The Christmas Scotty bundle is something you can add on to the class. The kit is $51. If you get the bundle with it, it's $96. That includes tax and shipping. And I have to tell you guys, I saw two different people today, totally different places, walking Scotty dogs. One of them had two white Scotty dogs. The other one had two black Scotty dogs. So I think you have to get two Scotty dogs when you get a Scotty dog. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But they were really cute with the kit. Now, if you need this, you need this to do the class. But if you're just ordering the kit because you already have the Christmas Scotty dog, um, you get a roll of our black and white gingham ribbon. You get a package of the perfectly penciled designer series paper. I love black and white paper for just all the options. You get a pack of the iridescent, the iridescent pearl basic jewels. And you get a pack of mini dimensionals. Let me make sure I got everything in here. As well as eight envelopes and a pre-cut cardstock pack. Oh, you know what? I have some of these. Hang on. I have them and I know where they are. Woohoo! Here is the pre cut cardstock pack. So you got all the goodies in here plus the pack of paper. This is your kit. It comes with a PDF file with videos for each one of the cards, all the goodies. But what I wanted to show you is um, somebody on my team didn't realize that I cut this cardstock for you. So right in the front here, in front of the envelopes, is all scraps. That's for your punching and anything else that you might need to do. Here's all the envelopes, and here comes the kit. This card here is all die cut for you. I've got all the die cut layers in here for you to utilize. Um, you're making two of each card. There are four different cards for a total of eight. Here's all the layers for the next card and all the layers for the next card and all the layers for the next card. You get the paper with the kit, so you cut the paper up. Now with my other kits that I do, the one that I do with Dina and Barb, um, the paper does not come in the kit. You have to read option number one includes all of these things, option number two includes these things, and it says in option number two, you need everything in option one to be able to make the class. Um, so make sure you're paying attention to things like that when you're reading about my classes because all the details are there. But I happen to find a whole bunch 
of um, swap cards that I wanted to share with you using this adorable Scotty Dog set. So here's, oops, let me move this. Here's cards that I made for a blog hop last week. These are on my blog and they're a PDF so you can print them out. It has all the dimensions, the colors that I used, all the details. And see what I did with these pearls? I colored them with stamp and blend markers. So you can make those iridescent pearls any color you want. And then here are some swap cards or cards that people sent me. Isn't this just the cutest little thing ever? Yeah, here's another one, look at this. This was super sweet, gift card holder. Here's another one. Oh, look, look at the little dog coming in here. Isn't that just adorable? And Scotty's are black and white. So isn't that cute? Now. This is a Christmas card. This is a Christmas card, but if you use different designer series paper and different colors, this could be any type of birthday card. This is a birthday card. These are get well cards. This is a birthday card. Even though this is Christmas Scotty, three of my four cards in the kit are not Christmas cards. There are other ideas for you to use with this kit. So I just wanted to make sure Everybody got to see these. I love sharing my swap cards with you and other cards that I've made. And that is my kit. You get eight cards and all the goodies I just showed you for $51. If you want to add the bundle on, the total is $96. That includes tax and shipping. These are ready to roll. This kit is made and ready to go. So. Um, again, in that side column on my blog, you'll find all the buttons to be able to order these. Okay, now, <laughs> we are going to, oh, good grief, this is so pretty. Hang on, i got to change my glasses out. Put my regular glasses back on. And this is the Texture Chic Specialty Designer Series paper, and you can see that gold in there, right? gold foil accents. This is got to be the like most beautiful. I love this paper. I just can't even tell you how much I love it. And then we got some sad news this morning. This is the distressed gold 12 by 12 paper. And I really love this paper. Like it is so pretty. Well, it went on back order this morning and I made these cards for you. Got this ready yesterday, but this is thinner than our regular designer series paper and it is single sided, but look at that distressed gold. Now, I normally wouldn't even be showing this to you, except that it is only on back order. It's coming back in October. I believe that's when Stampin' Up! thinks they can get it back in the warehouse. So, this is oh, so gorgeous, you guys. It made me so sad. All right, we are going to bring in the Season of Chic stamp set and also the dies. And then I'm also going to be using the stylish shapes dies, which I've been using constantly and I love. I don't know if we're gonna use this ribbon or soft succulent ribbon, but this is our vanilla and gold ribbon. It is really, really pretty. And I do have a season of chic online class. And that's the one that I'm getting ready. I'll have it cut and ready to roll when I get back from New Orleans. But the class, you have the option of doing option number one, which includes the bundle, as well as the gold distressed paper, the designer series paper, the gold and um, vanilla ribbon, and also, oops, the opal rounds. So all of that stuff with a pre-cut cardstock pack of six cards. Each one has its own video tutorial, directions, pictures, dimensions, all the things. You can get that with the bundle for $116. That does include tax and shipping. Now, you actually get the online class and the pre-cut cardstock pack for free when you do option one because option one just pays for the product. Option number two includes the opal rounds, the in color, or I'm sorry, the gold and vanilla ribbon, and the pre-cut cardstock with the video tutorials and PDF file. That is $45. So those are available on my blog, exactly where I showed you 
when I have my computer out here. Let's get out all our goodies. And you guys, don't let me forget, I have a ton, not a ton, but I have lots of cards to share with you using this. I have a lot of swap cards in this particular um, suite. And that these are going to be in addition to the cards in the online class because those are kept um, under wraps. Let's just put it that way. Okay, I'm going to bring in my piercing mat. And I am going to bring in all my little goodies here. So hang tight. Here we go. Boom. Okay. Let me set that over here. So first thing you guys know, you know me pretty well. I love a decorated envelope and I am going to I've got designer series paper. This is the texture chic specialty paper. And I think I'm going to use this side because I made one of these cards before with this particular pattern and I used the other side. So I'm gonna try this side and see, see what that looks like. But isn't that just pretty? And then this has the gold in it. It's really hard to cover up that side, that the other side that's so pretty too, right? And that's why it is my recommendation that you just get two packs of the paper and then you won't feel guilty about which side you use. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I always say, buy two packs. And if you buy two packs of paper and you, and I only do that with paper I really love, okay? If I buy two packs right off the bat, I don't feel like I have to be chintzy with it and not use it because, oh, I might find something and then I don't have the paper, right? I've used that whole sheet up or those sheets. But very pretty. I love a decorated envelope. Next up, we have got soft succulent, eight and a half by, whoops, five and a half by eight and a half. And next we have the designer series paper. Pamela, where does someone go that has never learned and wants to start from scratch? I recommend that you contact me. Um, my email address is kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at a stamp above.com, and I will definitely help guide you in that. Um, I think the best place for you to start if you've never stamped before is with one of our kits. And I'm gonna grab a kit and I will show it when I am done doing this card so you can see what one of our kits look like. They are so fabulous, especially for beginners. They're fabulous for anybody, but beginners, oh, you'll love them. Okay, four by five and a quarter. Nope, I lied. This is four by five and a quarter. This particular piece is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And I'm wondering, hang on, because I don't know where my card went. And that will be a definite problem. Oh, that's interesting. Hang on, you guys. My card is missing. <laughs> well. There it is. <laughs> I put it in the wrong bin. I'm like, oh my goodness, what am I making? Do I remember how to make this? <laughs> this was one of my swap cards that I made, actually. So I'm just sharing it today for the first time. But I did make it quite a while ago. Okay, we have two white pieces, four by five and a quarter. And then I've got a scrap of the Distressed Gold. I've got a scrap of Soft Succulent. And you'll need a scrap of white and we're going to take I love these dies you guys I've been using these like crazy there are so many in this pack and you have the circles on the back too so lots and lots of stitch dies you've got squares banners and circles and when you get this there are 15 different ones look at all these things that I put in here 15 different one. So um, we're going to use the largest square, okay, and we're going to die cut that on white and soft succulent, and then when we do that, this is what we get. Looks kind of dark here tonight. Is my desk seem bright enough to you guys? 
Then we've got the white one. So we use this largest one to cut out both of these squares. Okay, so I can get rid of that. So I'm gonna put this away so I don't lose it. I have a three quarter inch strip. I think this is three quarter, let me check it. Maybe it's half inch, it's looking pretty small. Uh, it's about half inch strip. And we're gonna do that on the inside of our card. And then we've got a little bit of die cutting to do with our chic dies. Yep, that's what these are called, chic dies. So we're going to take this particular element, I call that the netting, and we're gonna take, let's see, which flower do I want? I want the smaller flower. There's several different flowers in here, and I want this quirky little flower right here. But if you look at these dies, you have leaves, okay? You have flowers, you have an outline flower, you have these detailed that overlay, you have shells. This is a shell, this is a shell. I think this is some type of a flower. Here's another shell. We have snowflakes. Isn't this pretty? Like snowflakes, lots of snowflakes. And the netting, the netting one. And that all goes, like this is one of the best sets you could have for all of the seasons. We've got spring, summer, fall, and winter. And it's just beautiful. I love the fonts in here too. Okay, enough about that. I've gone on and on long enough. We're gonna put these back in here. And we are going to die cut this beast, okay? And then if you have room on here, we'll die cut this little flower. So I'm going to, I'm gonna bring in my machine. We're gonna die cut this together because I'm feeling like we need a little togetherness tonight. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was weird, right? Okay. Kind of awkward because I can't stand right over my machine when I do this. Now, I always like to look at this, leave your die on here. I like to take a look at the back and make sure that it looks like it's all die cut. And this does look like it's all die cut. Then we're going to bring in our die brush. And I like to leave, this came right off, which is wonderful, but I like to leave my die on my cardstock, and especially this distressed gold paper because it's a little more delicate. And you can be really aggressive with your die brush if this die is on here. If it's not, then you have to be a little more careful so you don't destroy your paper. Okay, look at how many bits and pieces came out of there. It's like, it's just like magic, you guys. And I'm gonna dump this off. And they all come out of here so you don't have to pick them out. I love dies that do that, right? I'm gonna do just a little bit more here and now I have to be a little, care, little more careful so I don't destroy. That one's got stuck in there, hang on. There we go, okay this off and this off and this off and sometimes you don't even have to pick all these out sometimes you just leave them in there because it kind of adds to the shabby chic charm of the stamp set and i think the distressed also you know goes along with the shabby chic because shabby chic is distressed and i think that's what i love about it the most is it's a little distressed okay so um, I did already die cut this flower, and I've got that right here. And I'm gonna put these back in here, and I think we're ready to stamp and make a card. So we've got all the goodies ready to roll. We're gonna be stamping on this white. Let's not lose that flower. We're gonna stamp on this white, and we're using soft succulent and mango melody. and that I pull these colors right from the colors that are listed on the back of the designer paper. These are the coordinating colors. We've got evergreen, we've got mango, petal pink, pool party, soft succulent, and soft suede that match 
this particular pack of paper. And I think I would even go so far as to say um, basic gray because we've got a lot of gray and these two would also go very nicely with this paper. Okay, I'm gonna do my sentiment first and I've got the you are amazing beyond measure. And we're gonna stamp that with soft suede. Let me make sure I got that. And we're gonna put that right down here at the bottom, just like this. And then, this is my chamois. This is what I use to clean my stamps. And I just love it. That's it, boom, done. We're gonna take, I think I'm gonna do my outline first. So I'm gonna test it on my paper here because I haven't made this card in a long time and I'm not really sure what I'm doing. <laughs> but this does match up pretty good. So I'm kind of looking like, so you have this, and it's now, now which way does this flower go on there to be right? But I see right here, we've got kind of a flat edge right there and then we've got a flat edge right here. So I'm pretty sure that's how that stamps. Now I just use Mango Melody full strength. Now I'm gonna stamp it off once and I'm gonna come in here and use it as a second generation. And now you have two ink colors. So I can't remember who asked me if you're brand new at this, where do you start? Here's a really good tip from brand new stampers that don't have much for supplies. When you get an ink pad, you can have two different colors. There's your first color, there's your second color, there's your third color. So you can use one ink pad and have a variety of different shades of the same color which is a really cool thing, especially if you are just starting out and you don't have many ink pads. Okay, so we've got all of these clean, oh, <laughs> let's let's actually make our flower. What, what do you guys think? I'm like, oh, I'm done with this. Here comes our flower, and I'm gonna stamp this right here, full strength, and oh my gosh, isn't that, it's already pretty, right? So pretty. And then we're gonna come in and we're gonna stamp off once, and we're gonna come in, I'm gonna stand up so I can make sure I get this on here right. Oh, beautiful. So there's our pretty little flower. And I am going to set this aside. We can close up our ink pads now. And here we go. Who's ready to make a card? Good grief, Kelly, let's get on with it. I know, right? But how much fun would it be if I just came on here and made cards and you watched me? That's not really that fun, right? So, I lost my piece already. Does anybody see it? Oh, here it is. <laughs> I'm like, where did it go? I think what I'm gonna do here, you guys, is I'm just gonna take this half inch strip and I'm gonna run it right down the side here. And you could really use either side of this paper. I think I actually intended to use the other side, but too late now. I will do this. And this just makes for a pretty inside because I don't think when you open a card, the party should stop. There should be more party when you open up a card. It shouldn't be just blah, blah as long as you have time. Sometimes we're in a rush, right? Sometimes we just can't get anything else accomplished. We're just lucky we made the card. And in that case, you get a pass. I'll give you a pass for that one. Okay, so this is just an eighth of an inch smaller. Boy, this is really a thin margin. And I'm going to glue this on here. Very, very skinny. Just that tiny, tiny little pop of white behind this designer series paper. And I see I need to move this down a little bit before it dries. It's one thing I really like about my liquid glue is that you get this wiggle room and that's what I'm talking about with the wiggle room is you can, you can move your paper around a little bit before it dries. <laughs> I really made that hard, didn't I? I'll do better next time. Okay, we're going to, now we're going to take, I'm gonna let you guys decide. Should I use, like this is gonna go on the front of my card like this, and I'm going to put and tie some ribbon around here. So do you think I should use the pretty vanilla and gold ribbon? This is part of the Season of Chic class kit. Or 
should I use the sheer soft succulent ribbon on here? You guys tell me, which one do you want? Oh, I see lots of comments coming in that I wasn't seeing. It wasn't scrolling for me. Linda Gilbert, I'm happy to see you here. I'm just reading all of your comments, you guys, because my comments kind of disappeared. What is the dye from Wendy wants to know? Wendy, I think you may have gotten your answer. This dye is from the Chic dyes, which is part of the season of Chic. Sweet. I think that's what you're asking me. The other dyes that I used are the stylish shape dyes with the squares, the banners, and the circles. I hope that helps. Okay, I'm seeing lots and lots of soft succulent. We've got one gold. Oh, Courtney. Only one gold. Dang it. <laughs> okay, I see all the soft succulents coming in. Okay, Courtney, we got beat out because I was going to use gold too. But we're going with the soft succulent because that's what everybody wanted. Now, when I do ribbon, if possible, I tend to like to just cut it off and tape it on the back. It's easier than tying it around. Sometimes you have to tie it around your layer. Sometimes you have to tie it all the way around and tie it in front because you just really don't have a choice with whatever the layout of your card. But I really like to do this. Easy peasy, right? Lemon squeezy. And then I take another piece and I see Polly says she loves these dyes. They're her favorites. I know. I'm telling you, this whole suite is amazing. That's why Dina Barb and I picked it for our online class, you guys, because it's so pretty. And then I just like to tie a single knot around here. Now, this is really helpful when you're using ribbon that is a little thicker. This ribbon's really thin, so this ribbon, it's not a big deal. But if your ribbon is thicker, if you have a double knot on here, that adds some big bumps, right? But if you do your ribbon this way, you only have to tie it in a single knot. So there's my big tip. There's my big tip. Kathy would have done gold. See, Kathy, I was gonna do gold too. <laughs> okay, um, Tracy says, how similar in size are those stitch dies to the ones from a few years ago? Um, they're probably similar, but you don't have the banners and there's more squares and more circles. So, you know, that's completely up to you. I don't have those dies anymore, so I really can't tell you. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this on the front of our card. And, oh, uh, isn't this just, it's already pretty, right? It's just pretty. Then we're gonna take our soft succulent stitched square and we are going to just put that right on here. And I'm just gonna glue it on. Don't overthink it. Just throw it down. Throw down. Let's have a throw down. Now I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to put it behind my square. But gosh, if I do this, there's not much sticking out, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'm going to cut it. And now I'm going to put it back here and I'm going to put it back here so that it there's a lot more of it showing. So I'm gonna put some right there. I'm gonna put this all the way down here as far as I can go, but stay on my card. And I am going to take a little bit of tape because it's easy. You could use glue, you can use whatever you want, but I'm gonna use tape. And now I am going to add this square to the front, just like this. I love it. Now, where did that, here's that little flower. What are we gonna do with that? Well, we're gonna add a little bit of glue and we're gonna put that right down here like a little accent. Oh, you guys saw how easy this was, right? Like so, so simple. And now I'm gonna bring in, now here's my next question for you. Should I use the opal rounds or should I use the iridescent rhinestones? You tell me what you think. Oh, I have some right here. So these, ah, or these, ah, where's that? Where's that full one? Here's a full one. I tell I use these a lot. Oh, and there's hair. So what do you think? Which one? What do you want? 
I know, everybody's saying gorgeous, pretty, beautiful. It is, and you guys saw how very simple this was, right? It's like so, so simple, it's crazy. But that's what happens when you get an outstanding suite like this. Like this is right up my alley. I love this whole look. Okay, I'm hearing opal, opal, opal. One iridescent, Diane wants iridescent, Kathy or Cynthia is going for iridescent. We have another iridescent with Shelby. We have some opals. One more, opals, opals for the win, but I do have one made with the iridescent. So I'll show that to you too. So don't worry. Oh, where's my, here's my ones that are open. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm thinking I'm gonna go with this one. And yep, I'm gonna stick with the Mango Melody, I think that's the ones that I'm gonna use. And they have a little bit of iridescent glitter in them too, you guys, they're so pretty. So here is our stinking amazing card. You saw how very simple this was. We've got a pretty little inside in there. There is a free download that is ready to post tonight. That's the other thing, you guys, I got done crazy. I have photos done and edited, uploaded to my blog. My blog post is ready to go for our class tonight, as well as the free downloadable PDF files for the projects I'm going to show you. Ready to go. All I have to do is save this video to my computer, which takes a, not very long, and then upload it to YouTube, which doesn't take very long, but then YouTube checks it for, you know, whether I'm doing sketchy stuff, and that can take a long time. So as soon as YouTube is done, I will post this to my blog. You'll be able to get the free downloads. And here's another little tip I wanna share with you. Priscilla, who's one of my team members, she shared this with me. She said, slit open the side of your embellishment so you don't have to keep opening up this flap back and forth and that's how I do my embellishments now because it's just easier for me to pull them out of here, right? I really like this. Okay, so I said I would show you the iridescent. So for those of you that love the iridescent, here they are. Here's the opal rounds, here's the iridescent. Both are very, very pretty, right? Yeah, what a gorgeous, I love, I just love this. Okay, I'm done gushing about my beautiful card. I know it's beautiful. Do you ever make something where you're like, whoa? <laughs> and other times it's like, oh, that's nice. But this is one of those, mm, love it. All right, now I have a whole bunch of them to show you. So, oh, I didn't take them out of their deals. Hang on, I, I hate it when these are all shiny. Here we go, look at this. <gasps> oh, you guys, so, so pretty. Isn't it just beautiful? And again, here's that flower that you can die cut the white layer and then you can put the overlay over it. Here's those leaves. This is all done with the distressed gold and they used the um, opals on here too. There's regular opals. These are the regular opals. The ones that I did are the in color opals. Okay, so there's one. Here comes, oh, this is made by my wonderful friend, Lori Krause. And I heard it's Lori's birthday next week, so. I can't. I don't know how to get this out of the envelope. They tuck the flap in between the card, Lori. <sighs> Look how pretty that is. So the shell, this is actually embossed. These are stamped in colors, and then this is embossed. And that shell is just part of this stamp set. It's this one right here. Isn't that just so pretty? Yeah. I see what else Lori did here. Yep, that's it. Beautiful. Here comes another one. Are you guys, did anybody, was there anybody on the fence about this bundle? Because I would like to hear from you. I know you're not on the fence anymore. <laughs> I'm just that arrogant. <laughs> Look at this one. This uses the beautiful rose gold paper with the distressed gold. And then there's the rose gold again. Oh my gosh, these are our um, rustic, I don't know what they're called, uh, something, somebody will tell me. Isn't that beautiful? And the designer paper, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, this was a really good swap. Here's Lori Krause again. 
She loves the style too. And Lori is a fantastic card maker. Here's the snowflakes. Remember these snowflakes we had these last year? They're back. They're the iridescent. They're all die cut for you on a sheet. Those are really fun. Love, love, love this card. Beautiful. Who's drooling? Who's drooling? Deb wants the mesh. <gasps> yeah, that's what it's called, mesh. I keep calling it netting, but you know me. Look at how pretty this is. This is the other side of the paper right here. Oh, there's another envelope. Oh, here's the other envelope. Remember I said I use the other side? So here's the envelope that we did tonight. And here's the envelope that I did the other day when I made this. All right, so let's put that back. Um, oh, I was showing you this one, right? <laughs> Sorry, I got a little squirrel. <laughs> it happens, isn't that pretty? This is, oh, this is made by Christine Hoover. <gasps> then we have one of these crisscross cards. I think I have a crisscross criss -cross card that I'm gonna be sharing with you soon, but look at, oh man, I don't know what's happening. Oh, this is an actual pocket card. <gasps> I'm like, I don't know how this is opening. So this is another one, really, really pretty. Little pocket there, designer paper. I, I just love it. You have to love it. And this is the rose gold with the distressed gold. So that's interesting. I don't think I would have put those two together, but what do I know? Cause it's really pretty. There we go. That may be mad. <laughs> oh my gosh. And here comes another one. This is really pretty. Oh, this is Priscilla's card. Priscilla, that we've been talking about. Look at how pretty that is. So she used a designer series paper strips, half inch strips, and created this. Yeah, that's gorgeous, love it. And, oh, here's one more. Oh, again, Lori Krause. I gotta find a birthday card for her. Oh, upside down, here we go. Look at that, and she embossed the birthday in gold. I love what she did here. And again, I wouldn't have put fresh freesia with the petal pink, but look how pretty this is. Like some people just have a knack for that. I don't, but I could, now I will, right? Because I'm, I'm learning, you're always learning. And then here's another really pretty one. These are the envelopes and the cards, and I'll get this out in a second. But these are envelopes. You can buy an envelope and a card pack. And look at how pretty this is. So let me show you those. I forgot about those. And I've got a pack of them here somewhere. Let's see, oh, I can find it. Don't worry, it's right here. I haven't even opened it yet. Oh, I need to make some of these now. These are so pretty. So this is the Texture Chic Memories and More card kit. There must be a Memories and More pack too. Do I have that? I don't think I do. I need to put that on my order. I don't think I have that, you guys. So I'm gonna need to order that. But look at these. So this is a whole pack. You get, mm, I don't know how many cards are in here. Probably 20. But look at this. <gasps> oh my goodness. This is like so fun. I gotta take this out. I gotta, I wanna see all of it. Here's the card bases. They're all patterned like this. They're white on the inside, they're scored. So all you need to do is fold them in half. Here are all of those envelopes. Look at how pretty they are. They're also scored. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Now, this is called the Texture Chic Memories and more, cards and envelopes. And now that makes me need to look up, and that's where I got this card from, made with that. They just cut a little bit off this, put the gold there with the embossed layer, so pretty. And I'm gonna look that up because I knew we had cards and envelopes. I forgot about them, I knew we had them. I'll be darned. Look at we do. We have texture chic memories and more card pack. I would get this with this and then you use these together to make beautiful cards or you can use them for scrapbooking too. But those cards and envelopes, you get 20 cards and envelopes with the gold foil for $12. And then this is $10 and it gets, you get 50 total little cards to do stuff and you get some 
Um, they're all double-sided designs. Some of them say stuff on them, and then you get four sticker sheets. So these are very cool. Texture chic, memories and more. Texture chic, memories and more cards and envelopes. Okay, good, I'm glad. We all learned something tonight, right? Well, maybe I did. <laughs> okay, let me put these all away. These are my cards. These are all my swap cards. I'll put these back in my pile for inspiration. Let me not wreck them. I'll get, I'm sorry, I had to take all these out of the envelopes. I don't know what I was thinking. I just didn't think about it. So that was dumb. I shouldn't have been doing that. I shouldn't have been wasting your time on that. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, I'm gonna put all of this stuff away so we can keep moving along. I've got two fun folds. Well, I, I have two cards that are fun folds. Um, they're the same card, just different patterns, colors. So I think you're going to absolutely love them. I had so much fun making them. Let me grab those. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do this. Hang on. We're going we're gonna to do one more thing here. Yep. So... On this white layer, it's really bright white, right? Like really bright white. And so when I have really bright white like that, sometimes I like to tone it down a little bit and splatter it. So I've got my soft succulent um, stamp and write marker. This is not our alcohol marker. It's the regular stamp and write markers. And I am just going to splatter that just a little bit. And that just kind of tones that white down just a touch. So that's why this was laying out here, and I almost forgot to do it, and then I would have been mad. Well, not really mad. I don't sweat those kind of things, but I would have been disappointed in myself for not sharing that. Okay, before we go on to our fun fold, I wish you could remember. So whoever said that they're new to this and they wondered where they're starting, please accept my apology. I am... I have a really bad memory, and especially with names, like I'm terrible. So the fact that I can't remember your name is pretty normal for me, and I do apologize because it's kind of embarrassing. This is our Notes of Cheer card kit, and um, this one is really fun. You don't even need to have any ink or stamps. It comes with mini dimensionals, which I think you'll see me use on the next card maybe. It comes with these fun little frames. These are all die cut and you simply punch them out just like this and you add these to your card fronts with these little dimensionals, okay? Here are a bunch of bigger sayings. Oh, and these are in um, all kinds of languages. So we've got the top one here is English and then we've got all the other languages, which I don't know what they are. <laughs> I don't care. Um, and yeah, you're on my mind. So we've got all of these. These are more words. Now, here comes the really cool part. We have all of these layers, okay? And then these are all um, laser cut. Look at this. <gasps> Look how pretty that is. Okay, and then you put, where'd that little banner thing go? And then you put, I don't know how you're supposed to make these, but um, I, the, you put a little banner on here, one of these that fits it. But here's some of the elements. We've got all of these. Here are our card bases. Goodness gracious. So we've got one, two, three, four of these like rainbow bases. We have some of those iridescent rhinestones that I'm using tonight. Here are, oh, look at, oh my gosh, look how cute this is. <gasps> Um, those are some other cards. And then, let's see. Here is um, some white card bases. Here are some envelopes with a little pretty design on the inside and a little scalloped edge there. And it's got green and blue and pink. So here we have with all of these. But these are, this is an all-inclusive kit. And we have mini glue dots. Now, it's like once you get your kit, I'm, I'm thinking that you're wondering, well, how do I know what to do with it? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> so, oh, this, this is so pretty. Like these are a bunch of these. They're like little laser cut deals. But right here is the instruction sheet. And here are the cards. Look at, that's that pretty little thing right here. 
right here. And then here's where you put on the banners. Here's what you're supposed to do with that. And inside is step-by-step -step picture instructions. Isn't that cool? And then you keep watching me and you will learn all the things you need to know about stamping. <laughs> there you go. So this one is called Notes of Cheer. Now, if you go to my online store, there is a whole area that is dedicated, and they come in these nice little boxes too. There's a whole area that is dedicated to kits. And I am going to bring this in here again, and I'm going to see if I can bring it up. This is, oh, hang on, I gotta get all these closed out. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, um, here's our menu. Uh, menu. Here we go. I just clicked on menu. Look at right here. Can you guys see that? Right here is kits. I'm going to click on kits and here comes our kits. We have this birthday one. We have these fun. Now you have to read. You click on these. They'll tell you what exactly is in them. Some of them have stamps with ink. Um, some of them don't like this butterfly one I just showed you doesn't even have that. This is our newest one right here. And I just clicked on this and it's going to open up all the details and it shows you the cards it shows you it comes with this stamp set and it'll tell you down here all the things all the things that are included so you get the stamp set you get an acrylic block you get um uh, poppy parade ink you get the pre-design the step-by-step -step, the pre-cut pieces it makes 12 cards of one design you get some foil accents pre-printed envelopes, all the details are right over here, okay? Now, I'm just gonna go back, and here is the, um, oh, where did that go? I don't know what happened there. I must have clicked on something wrong. Hang on, we're going to click on, let's see if it'll go. Oh, I'm thinking that one might be out of stock. Oh, nope, here it is, here it is. Robot Buddies, make sure you're getting the English one if there's different options, because we also have that in a different language. But here again, it shows you all the goodies included. There's a block, there's an ink, there's a stamp set, all the embellishments, all these fun things. And then here are the cards that you make with them. It tells you they're $23. Um, it tells you how many cards in the details down here. There, This one makes nine cards, but you get that stamp set. And these, oh, you get two ink pads. You get the stamp set and the ink pads. So you'll have a whole stamp set and two ink pads with the $23 kit. So it's a really, really good value. And they are perfect for everyone, but especially perfect for beginners because everything's in here. The only thing you might need is some glue. And I use this multi-purpose liquid glue. And I also have a sticky kit that's in that side column on, um, or in every blog post towards the end on my blog right here, a whole kit of adhesives that gives you all the adhesives that you could possibly need. All right, now on to our fun fold. I'm going to, and I have a bunch of cards to share with you. Who has the wonderful world stamp set? and designer series paper. And I say that because, oops, I say that because this is a bundle and it's free during celebration. This is one of our offerings with a $100 order. You get the stamp set and the designer series paper. There's a whole bunch of pretty ideas here. Look, they use that mesh or netting image from the Season of Chic that I just used on one of their cards. And there's some more pretty cards back here using the paper. It's just beautiful. So anyways, when you place a $100 order, you can get this stamp set and the designer paper for free if that's what you choose. Um, I have a bunch of cards, again, swap cards to share with you. Don't let me forget to show you because that makes me crazy when I say, oh, I got all this stuff and then I don't show it to you because I'm being a, you know, a knucklehead. <laughs> okay, we are going to be using the brushed brass butterflies. 
Oh, and my new person on here, please email me and I'll send you our current catalogs. It's always better to have a catalog in front of you. It's a lot funner to shop that way. So let me know. Um, send me your address and I'll send you catalogs. We've got Mossy Meadow and Rich Razzleberry. And then I'm bringing in some sponge daubers. I've got the stamp set. Oh, that fell off a card. And my Rich Razzleberry stamp and blend marker. I'm also going to be using a sentiment set. This doesn't have any words in it, so I pulled from the very best occasions. And I really like this one. I think this is in the mini catalog. And then I'm using the scallop contour dies. And I really like these because they have all the scallop rectangles in them. Okay. Whew. Oh, and some of the vanilla and gold ribbon. We're going to use that too. I told you this is a fun fold. And I have two cards to share with you. So I did it in two different colors, kind of a little bit different. Here's what we're going to do. First of all, we have our beautiful envelope and I have a two and a half by six inch piece of the Wonderful World Designer Series paper. I should probably show this to you, huh? <laughs> what do you think, Kelly? So, it's absolutely gorgeous. We've got, this is all double-sided. We've got this pretty pattern with this on the back. We've got this with this on the back. We have these big flowers and then this pattern on the back. We've got this floral and stripes. We've got this floral and the small print on the back. And I don't know why, but I just remembered that I made two batches of strawberry jam right before I came on my squirrel. I don't know why that just popped into my head. It's like, I forgot to tell him that I made strawberry jam. <laughs> And we have these flowers <laughs> and this pattern. Now, I've seen a lot of people using these little, they cut them into little squares and put them on the front of cards. And I, I think that's really pretty too. Okay, so this is the Wonderful World paper that comes with the stamp set for free with your $100 order. Now, I am going to, no, I don't know why my iPad keeps stopping your comments, but it's making me a little crazy because every time I look at it, I can't see your comments and I don't know why. Okay, we're gonna put our glue. I'll stop whining about that now and just deal with my own issues here. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna do this side because I did the other side for the card that I made when I was figuring this project out. And again, you just use the edge of your envelope flap to as a guide to cut it out. And you guys have heard this story a million times. I believe that when somebody opens up their mailbox, they should see something pretty before they ever open my cards, right? Unless I don't have time. And in that case, once in a while, I just have to send something out. But I like that my envelopes are pretty. Okay this piece. We are going to get started with the fun part of this card. Oh, and I need a pencil. Hang on. Oh yeah, there's a tiny bit of measuring, you guys. Don't worry, it's easy. So here we go. We are going to take our piece of designer paper, okay? So one thing that I am going to mention to you is that you need to have, like this side of the paper definitely needs to be going this way, right? You can't do it this way, your flowers are all faced that way and now they're upside down. So this has a definite direction to it. So when I was trying to figure out what I was gonna use to make this fun fold, I can use this side because this is gonna be the inside of my card and it has a neutral pattern on the other side. You don't want it to also have flowers that will be upside down and you'll see what I mean in just a minute. So you wanna pick your pick your card or your designer paper carefully. And this is four and a quarter by 11. And what we're gonna do, now mind you, on my blog later tonight, as soon as I can get this video uploaded to YouTube, is going to be the PDF project sheet with all the directions for this and a link back to this video. So you can save this or print it out or whatever. We are going to score this at two and three quarters 
on both ends. Two and three quarters. And, okay, I see my, I don't know why those comments aren't working with it sideways either, so that's fun. Okay, I'm done whining. All right, then, maybe not. I might whine some more. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Here comes our ruler. So you're going to measure in one and a quarter inches and one and a quarter inches. Pretty easy, right, from each side. I'm going to do the same thing here. If you want to, you can just eyeball it too, but... Uh, measuring is easy, so don't write on your table. Cheapers, creepers. Okay, then you can take your scissors, or if you're anal like me, you're going to use your paper cutter. And we are going to, now I know it's hard for you to see, but there's a score line right here, okay? Score line right there. We're going to cut from that little pencil mark down to that score line. So I'm going to get this in my track, and we're going to give that a cut pull that off. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to put it into the pencil mark. Let me get this up here so you can see it. Pencil mark and then that score line in my track. Channel, whatever you want to call it. Oops, I just moved it. Hang on. Just like that. So this is what we're doing. Okay. We're going to do the same thing on the other end. And this is the hardest part. Now, I'm going to have to fold this so I can see that score line because from my angle, not up above here, then my head would be in your face. <laughs> it's hard for me to see because I'm far away. You guys know what I mean. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're ready to rock and roll. So... We are going to fold this and burnish that edge good. And then we're gonna fold this one. This is gonna meet in the middle or not quite, but close enough. Now, we are going to, uh, hang on, we gotta find our card. <laughs> no, we know what we're doing. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to color the ribbon. And I love using our alcohol markers to color ribbon because it is so quick and easy. Whoops, I have a fan. Can you, can you, can you feel it blowing me, keeping me cool so I don't have a hot flash? And do, do, do. Now the nice thing about our Stampin' Blend markers is that they already go through to the other side on most, whoops, most of our ribbon. Hang on, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside so it dries. Pretty, pretty. Now it's gonna match my card. Mm, yeah, I love it when that happens. <laughs> okay. Uh, we are going to do our inside layer. And I'm gonna bring in my stamps. I've got Rich Razzleberry and Mossy Meadow ink here. So with our uh, Rich Razzleberry, I'm going to do Endlessly Grateful. And again, this is coming from the very best occasions. Now you can make this a birthday card, you can make it a get well card, an anniversary card, anything you need it to be with your sentiments. But for the most part, I need thank you cards. And I am endlessly grateful to so many of you, all of you actually, that I love making my thank you cards. So most of the time you're gonna see me make thank you cards, unless it's like for a baby <laughs> or you know something like that. Okay, so this is Mossy Meadow. My Mossy Meadow happens to be very juicy right now. So I stamped it off once, see how dark it is? And when if you live in a high humidity area and like we don't have our central air on, so it's not taking the humidity out, your pads will get super juicy. If you find that they're too juicy, Take some paper towel and just blot it in there and pull some of that ink out of there and then you won't have this problem. But I know that I can stamp off once and I'm just fine with that, so I don't do it. <laughs> okay, um, next thing we're gonna do is, let me clean this off, because these get, when they're juicy like that, they get pretty messy. Then we're gonna take this layer and 
we are going to put it right inside of here. Do you see where we're going with this? Ah, pretty already, right? Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this layer and this layer, by the way, is two and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And we're gonna use this, this is my favorite flower in the um, Wonderful World stamp set. I am going to grab my Rich Razzleberry and my, well, let me get this over here, and my Sponge Dauber. And we are going to add Rich Razzleberry to the flowers. Can you guys see what I'm doing? I hope so. I hope this is in the camera. Now this allows you to use two different colors of ink on one stamp, which is a really neat technique, right? And I see yeah, that I just got a on my stem right there. So I'm just gonna take a baby wipe and wipe that off a little bit. It'll be fine. That's a good way to do it. And then I'm bringing in my green and I'm going to ink up my stems and my leaves. Now, this is not an exact science. There may be a little bit of this gets onto a little bit of that, but it'll be okay. Here we go. I'm gonna stamp this off to the side. I just huffed on it. So it will um, give it a little moisture because I've got a fan blowing here. Oh, look how pretty. It's perfect. Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? I love these images. Okay, then I'm going to take You're the Best Ever, and I'm going to stamp that right down here in the corner. Yes, it's straight. Hallelujah. <laughs> I should have stamped the words first, because then you don't do all the rest of the work if you mess that up, right? And then, oh, here's my marker. I'm going to take my rich Razzleberry marker and I'm going to add a little flick just to tone that white down just like I did on the last card. Now when you flick at your cardstock like this you got to let it dry just a tiny bit. You don't want to stick your fingers on it right away because it'll smear. I've, had, I've done that. Been there, done that. Not fun actually. Pretty mad about it. Well, we won't get into that whole situation. <laughs> okay then I'm going to take these contour dies. Now, these are really nice, you guys. This goes with, I don't know, one of our stamp sets. But if you look up scalloped contour, it'll tell you which stamp set. I can't remember right now. Lots of little rectangles in here. And it's got, it's got all these rectangles. Okay, it's got a little one. It's got this one. It's got this one. It's got another one that's out with my one of my helpers getting die cut for our um, Season of Chic kit. I use one of these in here. It's got this stitched scallop that's really cool. These two these two go with the flower set that comes with it. And then we have this one. Well, it doesn't come with it. You can order it together or separate, I guess. You guys, you know how that works. Okay, so we're gonna take this one and we're gonna take a scrap of our Rich Razzleberry cardstock and boom, we're gonna die cut that. Look at how pretty that stitching is and the scalloped edge, right? We're gonna take our ribbon and, oh, we need to add this. We're gonna add this to our scallop layer and this fits just perfectly inside those stitch lines. I planned it that way. <laughs> wow, Kelly. <laughs> I know, right? And now we're going to tie this. This was, um, I think this was 10 inches, 10 inches of ribbon. And we're going to tie this around here in a little knot. I'm gonna have my knot kind of end up over here by my stems, oh, maybe a little more than 10 inches, you guys. This is kind of a little tricky. Okay, and I'm gonna tie it over here a little bit more so I have halves and halves on each side and then I'll move my ribbon. A little bit more than 10 inches, you guys. I do have 10 inches in the PDF and I am not going back in there to change it. So just know, a little bit more. Okay. There we go. I wanted this 
see how I bent that like this? Now you can move that around. It's, it's a pretty nifty little trick, right? I don't know if it's really a trick. It's just kind of common sense, but whatever. <laughs> Everybody doesn't have it, right? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Woo! And now I'm just going to trim this closer. And closer. Oh, there we go. Super cute! Okay, now what's going to happen here? <gasps> yeah, this is going to go right here, you guys. I can't wait to show this to you when it's done. Okay, so I know that by placing this, I need to put my glue underneath my thumb here. So I'm going to go... Just like that, okay? So from here down, it needed glue. And now I'm just gonna come in here and because I'm using liquid glue, I've got some wiggle room if I need to adjust it. And I'm just going to center that glue only on the top and center that panel right on my card. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, gorgeous. Okay, now we are going to Here's that slit in the side again. Thanks, Priscilla. That was a genius move. We're going to do some brass butterflies because, well, why wouldn't you? Where did that butterfly go? Did you guys see it? Oh, there it is. I'm like, I know I had you, you little bugger. Here we go. And we're gonna put this right up there. And then I'm gonna grab a little one and I'm gonna put that right there. And then I'm gonna grab another little one. And that one tipped over and I'm gonna put it right over here. Oh my gosh, you guys. Ah! Isn't that so pretty? You wanna, you wanna hear something really funny? So when I flipped this up, this was a scrap and it's got embossing on the back. <laughs> oh my gosh, how dumb is that? Uh, so what I'll probably do to save this card is I'll die cut another one of these rich raspberry scallops and I'll cut it off about right here and just put it underneath my ribbon on the back so people can't see. What does this say? It says, I know this is a difficult day. We don't need that on our endlessly grateful card. <laughs> How funny is that? Scraps. I should have looked on the other side, right? Okay, so. Here's our beautiful card, okay? And I told you guys I had another one that I made too, right? So let me share that with you. Are you guys ready for it? Oh my gosh. So this is Orchid Oasis, one of our new ink colors. I colored the same ribbon with the Orchid Oasis stamp and blend marker. And then this flower is from the paper from the paper. I cut it right out of there. Let me see if I can find it on here. Here it is right here. This is the flower. I cut it out. It wasn't that bad. It's got spiky leaves, so that was easier than round ones. And I did everything the same except I used this, this designer series paper. Everything the same. What do you guys think? Huh? Is that pretty? Okay, so I said I have a bunch of these cards to share with you. So, oh, here was the other one. This was my original that I made, and I used this side on the envelope flap. So you could do whatever you would like, of course. You guys always know that, right? But you guys remember, this is my floating panel card, right? Mary Stroman sent me a birthday card with this, and it was just so cool. On my blog is a PDF file that shows you exactly how to make this with a video. That uses the same wonderful world. Here's another one. Look how pretty this is. Ah. Now this little flower is in the stamp set right here. So that's cool. Love that. Here comes another one. Love this. This is a nice, easy little fun fold. This uses the stitched rectangles beautiful card. Here comes another one. I love these panels. Now, you know, it's so weird, but no, I was going to say, I think this may be my card. Like I made it, but didn't, I don't know. Didn't finish it. I don't know. Anyways, I like it. I like the panels. Starry Sky and Orchid Oasis. 
Here comes a card made by one of my team members, Kathy Miller. I think, yep, isn't this pretty? And she put Wink of Stella on her flowers, so that's gorgeous. And I love how she put this panel of designer paper all the way over to the side and much smaller than a quarter inch. You know how we usually do that strip? It's just different, right? Here comes another one. They die cut this flower out of the designer series paper. Let me see, where is it? Right here, right here. That flower is just die cut right out of this paper with a stitched circle, so that's really cool. And this, again, uses those stylish shapes dies. This is one and that's one. So this is really pretty. Here comes another one. Uh, I don't know who made this one. But they just took the designer paper and die cut it in a circle and put a bow on it. Isn't that cool? That's easy peasy right there. Now, I'm not even, I'm not even kidding. Yeah. So, who just said that? Who wouldn't be thrilled to get one of these in the mail? I know, right? I agree. And last but not least, here comes the last one that I have to share with you. And they did the same technique, probably with the daubers, and they used one of our new embossing folders here. And the same, the same scalloped rectangle that I used. So this is pretty, yeah. Okay, so here's all of these using the Wonderful World stamp set and designer series paper. These are free with your $100 order before the end of August. And now I am going to pull these out, bring these back. Where's my other card that we made tonight? Let me see if I can find it. Here it is. Good grief. Here we go. Here's all of our cards from tonight. So we have a fun fold. This is a great way, you guys, to stop hoarding the designer paper because this takes a whole four and a quarter inch. So it's four and a quarter by 11. You cut one inch off of it and then you do your scoring and cut your diagonal. But isn't that cool? Great way to use up your designer paper. Start using the paper up. And then of course we have this beauty. Don't forget I have an online class with this. Um, and the Christmas Scotties is a kit class. And I don't know what I'm doing in September for my classes. I think that we're going to probably figure that out while we're in New Orleans. Watching, you know, like binge watching Netflix. We'll figure out all that stuff. This is when the think tanks come together and we think up all of our goodies. <laughs> so this is good for everybody. Us, you, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, if you have asked me any questions, please, I I don't know why, but my um, iPad keeps shutting off the comments, and I would love to see those questions. If you could ask them right now, I am looking at my iPad, keeping those comments open. And Linda says she's motivated to use that stamp set. I have to tell you. This was the first time I used it too. And no, I shouldn't say that. I've used it maybe one or two other times because I love these flowers and I know I've stamped them before. So yeah, really, really beautiful. Thank you, Lois. Thank you, Jean and Brenda and Judy and Cheryl. I'm watching everybody come in here. The meadow dyes will go with that stamp set. Um, Laura, are you talking about the world of the wonderful world? The meadow dies go with that stamp set. Beautiful cards. Oh, thank you guys so much. You're so wonderful. Please don't forget to um, hit that share button. I appreciate that. Now, Kathleen is asking, how did the shells get embossed in colors? They didn't. The shells on that card you're talking about that Lori Krauss made, let me grab it. Those shells were stamped in color. Here it is. I think this is the card that you're talking about. These were stamped in colors, but if you look, this one is embossed. And I think she actually used gold leafing on there to do that one shell. So she stamped all of these in colored ink 
and then she used Versamark to stamp, or what do we use for that? Heat and stick, heat and stick powder with the gilded leafing. So I think that's how Lori did this one. It's just so pretty, but you could definitely use embossing powder. So that's a really good question. Am I taking old fashioned mix to New Orleans? No, I probably won't. I'll figure out something else that will work. Lots of times we hit up a liquor store. <laughs> so we get whatever we want. I do have my glass, my little metal glass that I take with me when I get together. I actually bought one for Barb and Dina for um, when we went to Wyoming one time as a gift. So we've all got matching glasses and it has like little caricatures of the three of us on there. And so I'll be taking my glass along. We'll probably be hitting up a liquor store. We, you know, I always talk about it, but you guys must think I'm kind of a lush. I rarely drink. Like I have an old fashioned on a Friday night, twice a month, maybe. So, um, and when we get together for our things, we talk about how we're going to drink margaritas, but I can tell you that I've taken a bottle of tequila to Wyoming like twice now and we never opened it. So, <laughs> yeah, we talk smart. That's about it. We talk about how much fun we're going to have. And then we have so much fun that we never actually get to the bottles. <laughs> what DSP is that? This designer series paper, is that what you're asking, Cindy? If so, this is the wonderful world this is a bundle and it is part of our celebration promotion and you get the paper and the stamp set free when you order a hundred dollars so i think that's what you're talking about i'm gonna look at my comments here again <sighs> okay could you demo the gold the the gilded leafing um, yes, actually, I can do that. And um, yeah, it's hard to drink and stamp. You know it. <laughs> Old fashions are the Wisconsin drink of champions. You know it, Melanie. You got that right. Uh, Melanie is from Arizona, and she is one of my team members, and she comes up to Wisconsin in the summer. I, I don't know, Melanie, if you have a cottage or somebody has a cottage. And she stays there for like a month. And Melanie actually came down and had lunch with me last week, I think it was. So that was really fun. Always nice. You guys know I'm always up for lunch. I love to go out for lunch. So yeah. And uh, special drink is a hurricane. Okay, so I like hurricanes. No, not the real kind. Have fun without the booze. Well, we do, Joan. And, and that's exactly right. Like, can you imagine me, Dina, and Barb together, and then you add alcohol? <laughs> oh, good Lord. <laughs> it is pretty funny, though. Okay. All right. I'm just looking to see if I have any more questions. Betty, you are so welcome. Um, the Shell Card DSP. Oh, okay. I see what you're... This is the Season of Chic. The first card I demonstrated... This is the texture chic paper that's part of the Season of Chic Designer Series paper. That's where this is coming from. This is right here. This is right here. So it's all this paper. I'm telling you, you gotta have this paper. Like, stop trying to resist it. You gotta have it. <laughs> oh, Kathy said her son moved to Sarasota. Maybe we can do lunch. Yeah, absolutely. Steve and I are going to be going to Sarasota um, this winter, and I think we're going to actually be spending three months there. I was saying four, but when I do the math, it's only three. And math is hard, way too pretty for math. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, I bought the purse. Polly is reminding me. I bought the purse last time we were together drinking. Yes, I did. And can I just tell you, this is going to be really mean. I will never, ever, and I mean ever buy anything from coach again in my entire life it was horrible it says they have a return policy i was well within it i followed all the rules i had to make 12 and i count them 12 phone calls to them before i finally got my refund and a couple of those calls were at least an hour and a half long it was they were so incompetent and so ridiculous with dropping the ball on everything, I was 
livid. So that's my experience with Coach, and you don't need to worry about me ever shopping in a Coach store again. Does anybody want to know how I really feel? <laughs> Oh my gosh, it was absolutely horrendous. And I was fit to be tied. Like if you can imagine me wound right tight, never again will I ever buy a coach product. So it's hard to believe that a company on that level with that prestige could be so incredibly incompetent. And they were horrible and I told them that. I said, I don't even know how you operate. Anyways, it's a conversation I don't care to repeat with you because I, in the end, was not a really good, nice person. They really pulled all my strings. So, <laughs> designer bags are a waste. Yeah, exactly, Joan. Yeah, I learned my lesson. Tell us how you really feel. Oh, I was mad. I was so mad. So anyways, but yeah, it was persistent, Linda, because it was so much ridiculous money. It was so ridiculous. I'm not even going to tell you it was so ridiculous. So I did get it all back though, finally, after 12 phone calls. I can't get that time back in my life. I told them that several times. I was mad. I was so mad. Anyhow, I'm done with that now and I think I'm going to let you guys go. And stone mountain bags are so much better. I'll look into that, Jan. Thank you for telling me that because um, I do think I need a new purse. I just am so, like, it's such a big decision. <laughs> I don't care if the purse is $20 or $400. It's such a big decision to get a new purse, isn't it? You guys know what I mean. <laughs> okay, and Pamela, thank you so much. You emailed me. Excellent. Okay, so um, I don't know if you'll hear from me tonight, so just know that. Um, I've got to get this video uploaded and then I have some things that I have to do downstairs. I'm going to actually see my doctor tomorrow for my rheumatoid arthritis because um, it's almost like my medication does, isn't working right anymore. Like it was perfect and I didn't even know that I had it and now I hurt. Like it's very hard for me to lift Val and Dawson who weighs I think just as much as she does. For me to lift the babies like it's so taxing on me and because everything hurts my shoulders hurt my back hurts my hips yeah i'm not going to go into the wah, wah, wah. but anyways i have to go to the doctor tomorrow so i got a lot going on but i will get back to you on your email and um i hope you guys have a fabulous week and my crown oh i took it off because it was sliding off don't worry it's never far i got it right here see my fuzzy hair i didn't do my hair today and um I am, I'll try to share some pictures with you when we're in New Orleans, because I always, I always love to share that with you. All right, you guys, I think I'm going to let you go. If you guys have any questions, know that I'm here for you. Know that I really appreciate your orders. It's what keeps me in business and pays my bills. Woo! Yeah, I love my job, and I love spending my Sunday nights with you. You guys have yourselves a great week. Don't forget, I have a blog hop on Friday. Watch for that. I did some really cool techniques with the Stampin' Blend markers. You're going to love it. All right. Have a great week. Bye-bye.